What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and today I'm bringing you guys what you've all been waiting for. This is Advanced Warfare Multiplayer Gameplay, exclusive footage that I've here on my channel and I got to record while I'm out here in Germany for Gamescom and of course the multiplayer reveal for Advanced Warfare. So this is me playing my actual footage and uh, yeah it's been a long time coming but we've finally got this uh, multiplayer revealed and uh, if you're excited, if you appreciate this early exclusive gameplay, I'm bringing you guys, make sure you give this video a like and also feel free to share it with your friends if they haven't seen it, if they're interested. So obviously I'm going to have a ton of footage going up on my channel a ton of videos going up very very soon there's so much to talk about and uh, gameplay videos analysis videos all that up on my channel in the next few days and uh, there's just so much to talk about i've got lots of stuff to come and uh, yeah it feels really weird playing this game and even watching it back it's always been a bit like very weird to see a brand new game you've literally seen nothing about it and uh, obviously seeing ghosts and black ops 2 all the other previous games you get so used to them after seeing them playing them for an entire year this is literally brand new and uh, it's nothing you've ever seen before and uh, it's always weird when it's a brand new game you literally know nothing about it. everything is news to you and it's pretty difficult obviously i was playing as other youtubers other press like media guys so they're pretty good at the game as well but at this stage when the game is brand new you don't know anything about it you know the best weapons to use don't know the best loadouts what kind of little secrets with perks and stuff like that don't know how to navigate the maps there's like a huge learning curve for the game in general and uh, you can definitely see that in this gameplay if you haven't noticed already there's like double jumps which is a huge movement mechanic it's sort of in teaser of course uh, obviously it's not like a jetpack you can't fly in this game but as I said, it's double jump essentially so similar to destiny and uh, the way you can just kind of float you have that extended boost it feels really really good to just jump and fly around like that and uh, it's just something naturally i really like to do just when you jump to be able to jump again you can't reach huge ridiculous heights uh, like you can in destiny you can't literally float right upwards but uh, you can do the booster jump which is literally a second jump in midair and uh, you can reach some pretty hard to reach places which does add a lot to verticality in this game and uh, obviously the boosts do regenerate pretty quickly as you can see here in terms of like gunfights how it feels it does feel very very smooth it seems to take a bit longer than ghost to kill but a bit faster than black ops games so it's kind of like a strange medium in between can't exactly tell i'm gonna have to pay it a lot more to actually figure out like how long it takes to kill people and what's the kind of like the actual feeling of a gunfights how many bullets it takes and how much health you normally have and maybe you can actually evade gunfights and actually choose to run away or you just get gunned down pretty easily which is very similar to what you had in ghost it's a very fast kill time but it seems to be a little bit longer in this game which i personally like i like prefer uh, when there's a little bit longer to kill people and obviously meet people move uh, very fast in this game they can boost out the way so that feels very very good as well feels good to be able to evade and be fast it makes you feel very powerful and uh, obviously i'll talk a little bit more about the perks and the loadouts uh, in summary there's basically a pick 13 system which is the same as pick 10 system but those three extra points are for your streak so that's right you can now actually choose to not have a third streak or any streaks if you like and you can choose more perks or an extra attachment something like that not only that you can now have a maximum of four streaks, which is insane. From COD 4 up until their Call of Duty Ghost, it's always been three streaks, no more, no less. You always have those, they're the separate own things. You always have three streaks. Now you can have four, you can have none. You can literally choose. And uh, Wild Card's also back, so you can choose to double up on perks that are in the same category. Obviously, I'll be uploading lots of videos very soon with an in-depth look at the menu, the options, credit class, all that good stuff. So don't worry, it will all be explained very, very soon. And make sure you subscribe to the channel, of course. You don't want to miss out on all the videos coming coming up and as i say i've got loads of videos that you want to see so make sure you're staying tuned uh, there are four maps available on this build that you're going to see and uh, there's also a few assault rifles a few smgs i believe a sniper heavy weapon direct energy weapon all of that craziness and uh, lots and lots of stuff to talk about and as for game modes we also have some really cool stuff we've got hard point and capture the flag which is back which is really really cool there's also been a lot of rumors going around those return but now we have confirmed information that uh, those two game modes are returning in advanced warfare uh, the very classic game modes great for esports and uh, i love hard point personally i prefer blitz from ghost i don't know why i just prefer the instant uh, ability to score and just hop into a portal and uh, as opposed to running the flag all the way back through the enemies and back to the base maybe because i'm lazy i just prefer blitz because you can literally hop straight in the portal but uh, let me know what you think about blitz versus capture the flag and uh, there's also a lot of uh, obviously there's tdm the game mode but also a lot of new game modes one of which is called uplink which is very similar to capture the flag and uh, there's literally so much to talk about about advanced warfare it's literally insane this is just scratching the surface there's tons of videos on the way so make sure you're keeping an eye out and uh, remember to give this video a like rating if you enjoyed this early gameplay just kind of a quick preview of what to expect hopefully you enjoyed this footage and of course your thoughts leave them in the comment section i want to know what you think about it and uh, also i want you guys to let me know what you want me to talk about 
obviously I've played this game a lot. If you have any questions or want me to know, uh, let me know in the comment section. You also tweet them to me. My Twitter is in the description as always, and I'll almost definitely reply if I can answer it. And uh, so yeah, definitely feel free to tweet me or leave your comments in this comment section. Uh, what do you want me to talk about? What do you think about the game? All kinds of feedback and stuff like that is muchly appreciated. So uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this look at Advanced Warfare. If you want to check out some cheap games, you can check G2A at the top of the description. It's one of the cheapest places to pre-order Advanced Warfare on PC right now and also lots of other games. In addition to stuff like Xbox Live codes and stuff like that. If you're running low, definitely one of the cheapest places on the internet to buy that stuff. So check out top of the description. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys very soon for more Advanced Warfare gameplay.